I want the braid to be very tight as I braid it straight down. That's gonna help it hold its shape. Welcome back to Oklahoma City to the AQHA World Show. There is so much that goes on behind the scenes to get these horses show ready. And today we're shedding light on one of the more intricate processes. I give myself on average an hour, depending on the length of the neck and the thickness of the hair. Kelly Ponce travels from stall to stall at the AQHA World Show braiding manes, forelocks, and tails for exhibitors showing in the hunt seat classes, something she learned to do as a kid. I had to do my own mane, so I kind of learned out of necessity. Way back then, I don't know that there were even people at our horse shows that offered the service. I learned through trial and error for the most part, as I'm very certain it didn't look very good for a long time. <laughs> While Kelly says braiding is mainly for aesthetic purposes nowadays, a quick Google search teaches us that braiding is a practice that dates back centuries. As horses became the primary mode of transportation, braiding or plating their mane is a way to prevent it from getting excessively tangled or ensnared in items like a soldier's musket. Braiding is also good for preserving the health of the horse's hair. So the tighter the braid is, the neater this little package gets at the end. And for horse shows where the braids last for multiple days, the tighter they are, the better they last. So I make nice, even sections, and then add in the yarn partway down. Kelly relies on her fingers to get those perfect tight braids, but she also has a special braiding toolkit. Uh, my basic toolkit is my yarn. I have a comb, a water bottle, a latch hook, and a scissors. And my trusty stool, of course, so I can get up here. These hunt seat horses are not short for the most part. She says at a regular weekend show, she can braid about 20 horses, but at a bigger show like the AQHA World, she can do up to 50 manes and over 80 tails. She's in high demand, but braiding, it's not her full-time gig. It's kind of my little side hustle that I like to do. I show horses as well, and it's just kind of pads my budget a little bit. If I can make a little money at the horse show while I'm here. My full-time job is a nurse, and I'm lucky that it's pretty flexible so I can get to some of these nice horse shows. Kelly encourages youth looking to make some extra cash to learn the art. There aren't very many braiders, or oftentimes there's not enough of us, especially the weekend shows, so I try to encourage the, the youth kids to pick it up as a hobby and tell them how they can make some decent money uh, if they get good enough at it. 